Alright guys, stay tuned to the end. <clears throat> this is going to be the beginning of the video. Welcome back. Got the AC compressor completely installed, or everything sealed, all replaced. And you'll notice, one bolt is broken. Uh, did torque him down to 23 newton meters, which was 17 inch, 17 foot pounds. Um, read the manual. Manual says that it should be down, tightened to 17 or 23 foot pounds. Do not tighten these to 23 foot pounds, or you'll have this a broke did bolt. So anyway, so it comes out to about 15, 15 foot pounds max 15 foot pounds on these five and those two back there all right guys watch the video long video sorry is what it is but uh at least it's got all new gaskets all new seals i'm gonna go to the junkyard pull a compressor apart from a caravan or uh multiple vehicles have this same setup just different uh bracketry um different front and uh, rear so I'm gonna find one from a caravan or something and I'm gonna take uh, all six bolts out or five bolts and I'm gonna replace all five of these bolts because I torqued them all down to 23 foot-pounds so who knows they might all explode so did take it back apart and took this piece off this piece just unthreaded by hand so alright guys sit back Grab some popcorn. Long, uh, long video. Hopefully, I fast forward most of it. I think it was 23, man. That is too tight. Alright, people. Welcome back. Half fast 719. Good morning. Um, what we got going on today is going to be rebuilding this AC compressor. So, everybody wants. 450 to 800 dollars, 800 and something dollars through Dodge, uh, 400 and something dollars from AutoZone. I think it's like 450 with a 10 dollar core charge. So instead of doing all that, let's uh, let's go over the parts I purchased from AutoZone. So this is a seal saver, shaft seal saver. It goes on the shaft like that. You know, once you're getting ready to install it, <clears throat> that part was sixteen dollars, fifteen ninety-nine. Um, part number. If you can read it, maybe, maybe not. It says MT four zero two four Santec S A N T E C H. So it's fifteen bucks for this seal saver, and. Uh, Basically, just feels like a uh, cartridge, like maybe a uh, a big round cartridge. Let me uh, let me go grab a 50 AE cartridge and see if it's the same size. I'll be back. All right, guys, it is not the same size. It's a 50 AE, but it's pretty darn close. You can fit a 50 AE in there. So that's a Desert Eagle round, 50 AE. Um, anyway, so yeah, this part, 15 bucks. This seal, this is the main shaft seal. <clears throat> As you can see, my seal took some beating to get out, and it was leaking. Um, part number for the seal is a MT. Two three three zero MT two three three zero Santec. 
It's just a compressor seal. That that seal was MTT MT two three three zero is twelve dollars and fifty cents. Twelve dollars and fifty cents, and then because I'm splitting the case and doing everything, I decided to go with a gasket set. This is the whole gasket set. They are metal. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the right gasket set. The part number for this is the MT2364. MT2364. Um, it does say that it's not for my truck. When I went on the AutoZone website, it says it doesn't. it's not the same as my truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the compressor apart and uh, I'm going to match them up to these gaskets to see if they're right um, and uh, it does come with o-rings some brand new green o-rings um, it does not come with sealing washers these bolts have sealing washers so <clears throat> it doesn't come with that but let's go ahead and take her apart so I'm going to use a uh, uh, 6.10 millimeter socket. I think they're 10 millimeter. They are not 10 millimeter. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to use a 6.8 millimeter socket. It might be 8. Yes, they're 8. And an adapter. I'm going to use my Milwaukee M18. Impact a little 3 8 drive that my brother gave me. So my brother's cool. Alright, so I'm gonna zip all these off.
which does not look like it's the right gasket. So, we might be reusing this gasket. As you can see, it does not match any way, shape, or form. So, I'll just be extra, extra careful with this one and uh, stick this one back in there. Just wipe it down really carefully. And it's weird that all the other gaskets, because in the pictures, the only gaskets that were different were those two, or these ones. So one of the gasket sets had uh, bigger holes, kind of kind of like the the centers. Um, but that was the only gasket that really was any different. But anyway. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just clean these up, reuse this one, the center one, because none of these were actually leaking. I probably didn't need to change any of them, and uh, I'm doing it anyway, but if it leaks, then I'll know what it is. I'll know that I need to get this certain type of gasket, but anyway. We'll go ahead and uh, get some oil, clean this the rest of the way up, and start slapping it together. So I'll be back. Take some more of this lubies. Of 
run it through on this side, on this side, and uh, it will go that way. Sorry, the seal is going to go with the protrusion upwards like that. So, but before I do that, I want to put a little some lube on this piece. I want to run this through a couple times just to stretch it. Get it on there. Pull it fast. Do it one more time. So it's basically I'm just pre stretching the seal. So that when I go to put this together, it's not of a pain, not kind of, kind of not a pain in the butt. Okay, looks like a 11 sixteenths is probably going to be your best bet. So I'm going to take a little more lube, throw it in the inside here. Take this, throw a little more lube in there. Remember intrusion part goes upward and you just want to press it in there until it bottoms out which it looked like it bottomed out pretty good I think we're good yeah because there's a little lip in there doesn't take much to, to get it to go in so now that we got that done, let me uh, double check this, making sure everything lines up. Let me find those. Let me find those pins, dowel pins. I'll be back. Alright guys, almost messed up. I forgot <clears throat> to put in the lower gasket. And uh, yeah, just install these bolts with the washers. Just want to clean the, the heads of these bolts. I take all these washers out, throw them in a bunch of dirt that I just did. And I'll put a little lube on them too. Not much to it, it's just about uh, organization and uh, remembering stuff, which it's early, it's smoky, lack of oxygen, 
Uh, dog ate my homework. Mm, what else can I blame? Uh, some football team lost. What else? Mom didn't do my laundry. What else can I blame? Who else can I blame? Because it seems to be the way the world is. No accountability for themselves. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> 23 is too much. So now I gotta source a bolt. Anyway guys, looks like I'll be taking a bolt from the Dodge once it goes bad. So I gotta take this all apart now. Take it all apart. So I'm gonna say these bolts only need to go to about 18, 18 foot pounds. 23 is a lot. So I did get one to one to click. The other ones I could not get to click. So, yeah, back to the drawing board. Project fail. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Do what you guys do. And uh, you do what you do. All right, guys. See you on the next video. Later.